Hi, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to be comparing the Sattva and DreamCloud mattresses. Now, both of these mattresses use foam and coil layers for a nice mixture of comfort and support, but they do use them a bit differently. The Sattva is more of a traditional inner spring build with steel coil support layer, whereas the DreamCloud mattress is a bend a box hybrid using a Euro top with softer foams in it over a pocketed coil support layer. Now, if you're looking for more mattress versus mattress content, you can Google Sleepopolis and mattress comparisons to see our full listing there. But for right now, it's time to compare and contrast the Sattva and DreamCloud mattresses. So let's get started. Now, I wanted to start off the comparison talking about the materials used in the construction of these mattresses. So I'll begin with the Sattva. Now, the Sattva comes in two versions. There's an 11 and a half inch tall version and a 14 and a half inch tall version. The heights of the mattress shouldn't really affect the feel of the Sattva, it's just two different options for you if you want a higher or shorter profile to your mattress. Now the cover of the Sattva is 100% organic cotton, and it is quilted with a little bit of polyfoam to give you uh, some immediate sinkage into the mattress for some pressure relief and comfort. That covers up a Euro style pillow top of foams, which again you're going to be able to sink into a little bit for a little bit of pressure relief and comfort. Now the Euro top is over a pocketed coil, kind of a transition layer. Those pocketed coils are individually wrapped, so they're gonna give you kind of more of a contoured support feeling than you're gonna get out of a traditional inner spring mattress. And they are above a steel coil support layer, which gives you more of a firmer feel to it and a bit more bounce. So the coil on coil structure of the Sattva makes it a really bouncy mattress, as well as the uh, foam layers in the Euro style pillow top, which have more of a quicker response to pressure. So you're not, definitely not gonna feel stuck in those. You're gonna be able to change positions really easily. Now I did wanna point out that the entirety of the support layer of the mattress is surrounded by a, a high density polyfoam. Now that's a really firm material. So it's going to allow you to sleep all the way to the edge of the bed without collapsing it, giving you that kind of rolling out of the bed, out of bed feeling. That's really important because it's going to allow you to sleep all the way to the edge of the bed, make the bed feel a little bit bigger, which is really great for couples. Now let's talk about the Dream Cloud mattress, which is a 15 inch tall hybrid mattress. So it uses a mixture of foam and coil layers. And I did want to point out that 15 inches is a really tall mattress for the bed a box market. Now the cover of the Dream Cloud is a mixture of polyester and cashmere. So it's really soft to the touch. It covers up a pillow top that has three foam layers in it. It's a mixture of polyfoam and latex foam. Now the latex foam is interesting because latex is known for two things. It has a quick response to pressure, so a bit bouncy. And also it's known for dispersing body heat, so it's defending against kind of overheating while you're sleeping. Now that Euro style pillow top is over a pocketed coil support system. So again, uh, you get more support from those coils. Now those coils are again individually wrapped, so you're gonna get more of a contoured support it's a little bit of bounce to this mattress. Now the support layer of the Dream Cloud is also uh, surrounded by a high density polyfoam edge support layer. So you're gonna be able to sleep all the way to the ends of the bed without worrying about collapsing the side, rolling out of bed or anything like that. All right, so just to go over some of the similarities and differences we just talked about between the Sattva and Dream Cloud mattresses, both mattresses use Euro style pillow tops of foam over coil layers for support. Now they also both have high density polyfoam edge support layers. So you're gonna be able to sleep all the way to the ends of the bed without worrying about collapsing the sides, rolling out of bed or anything like that. Now the differences come in with the Sattva having that traditional inner spring steel coil support layer. So that coil on coil structure, making it a really bouncy mattress. And also the fact that the Dream Cloud is a bed in a box mattress. So it arrives compressed in a bag as opposed to the Sattva, which is not a compressed mattress. Now that we've seen what makes up the Sattva and DreamCloud mattresses, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of them. So I'm gonna start with the Sattva mattress. The Sattva comes in three different firmness levels. I took a look at the luxury firm version during my review, which is the medium firm version of it. So the one right in the middle. Now in my opinion, the luxury firm Sattva comes in at like a seven out of 10 on the firmness scale with 10 being the firmest. I generally think of a medium firmness as like a six to six and a half out of 10. So in my opinion, the luxury firm does shade just a little bit to the firmer side. Now, when you lie on the mattress, you do sink into that quilted cover just a little bit right at first, but there's pretty quick support from the pocketed coil system below that. And also I wanted to point out that the coil on coil structure of the steel coil supports right under the, that pocketed coil transition layer does create a really bouncy mattress. There's really solid support. Uh, so you're gonna feel more on top of the Sattva than in it. Now, I do wanna make a quick note that depending on the type of sleeper you are, you're probably gonna to wanna to look at one of the other firmness levels for the Sattva. So if you are 
a strict side sleeper. You really like to sink into the mattress. You're going to want to look at the softer version of the Sapa. Combo sleepers are probably going to want to take a look at the Luxury Firm, that medium uh, version of the Sapa, because you're going to be able to change positions. You're going to be more on top of the mattress than in it. And if you are a strict stomach sleeper, you generally prefer firmer mattresses. You're going to want to look at the firmer version of the Sapa. Another note is that Sapa does make a few other mattresses. There's their Memory Foam mattress, the Lumen Leaf, and the Zen Haven mattress, which is their latex version of the mattress. These are a bit different in construction. I've compared them all. If you want to just Google Sleepopolis and Sattva versus Lumen Leaf versus Zen Haven, you can see my full comparison there. Now taking a look at the Dream Cloud mattress, in my opinion, comes in at like a seven and a half out of 10 on the firmness scale. So definitely on the firmer side of the mattresses that I've tested. Now you are gonna sink in a little bit to that Euro top, but those foams do have that pretty quick response to pressure. So again, you're gonna be able to change positions pretty easily. Even though you do sink in a little bit, you're not gonna really feel stuck in the mattress. Definitely gonna feel more on top of it than in it. Now below that Euro top is the pocketed coil support layer, again, Pretty strong support from those coils, pretty impressive support for a bed in a box mattress. Combining those coils with those responsive foams in the Euro top, I find that the Dream Cloud does have some pretty good bounce. So you're gonna be able to change positions pretty easily. Now, I really like this mattress because of the strong support, especially for back and stomach sleepers. I do wanna point out that both the Sattva and Dream Cloud mattress make appearances on some of our best of lists. And if you wanna check out those, you can just Google Sleepopolis and Best Mattress. Now to go a little bit deeper on the feel of both of these mattresses, I wanted to give you an idea of how far you're gonna sink into them. So on all of my reviews, I set up the sinkage test in which I use balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities, simulate different body parts, and check to see how far into the mattresses they sink. I did this test on both the Sattva and the Dream Cloud, and the results are pretty similar. So I used the six pound medicine ball, it's filled with sand, simulates a lighter body part, sunk in about an inch on both the Sattva and the Dream Cloud, so no difference there. Uh, just a little bit above average, so you see a little bit sinkage into those uh, quilted covers and Euro tops there. Nothing too surprising though. Now I also use a 10 pound steel ball. It's the densest ball used during this test. And again, a little bit above average results for both of them with both of them sinking in just over two inches. Again, that's into the softer uh, foams quilted into the cover and the Euro style pillow tops. But again, because of that quick response to pressure, while you are sinking in, you're not gonna feel stuck in the mattress. Now, the difference does show up in the 50 pound medicine ball, which is filled with sand and simulates kind of the shoulders or the hips, heavier portions of your body. There's a little bit more sinkage on the dream cloud going in about four and a half inches as opposed to the uh, four inches on the Safa. Could credit that a little bit to the fact that the dream cloud is just a bit taller. I would expect there to be more sinkage on the 14 and a half inch sinkage on Sattva, excuse me, as opposed to the uh, 11 and a half inch Sattva, which I uh, did this test on. That's pretty much on average though, nothing too surprising there. And then they actually match each other on the sinkage for the 100 pound medicine ball, which is filled with sand, simulates kind of the center of your body if you are a bit bigger. Uh, they both have five and a half inches of sinkage for the 100 pound medicine ball, and that's below average. You start to see this strong support for both of them. Now, I do wanna point out that while you are sinking into the mattress a bit more on both these mattresses for the five and 10 pound balls, as well as the 50 pound ball for the Dream Cloud mattress, uh, I would say that because of the quick responsive pressure of the foams used in both these mattresses, you're not gonna feel stuck in the mattress so you're gonna be able to change positions really easily. And I would say also when talking about the bounce on both of these mattresses, they're both pretty bouncy. Dream Cloud has those quick responsive pressure from the foams as well as the pocketed coil system to give it some bounce. And the coil and coil, structure of the Safa makes it a really bouncy mattress, giving really great mobility. Now to just give you some basic information on both the Safa and the Dream Cloud, they both have trial periods with the Safa having a 120 day trial period and the Dream Cloud having a 365 day trial period. Now I would say the industry standard is kind of a 100 day trial period. So they're both above that, the Dream Cloud being a really long trial period a, a whole year. Now in terms of a warranty, the Safa has a 15 year warranty the Dream Cloud has an ever long warranty. Now I'd say the standard is about 10 years. So again, both above average when compared to other mattresses in the market. The Dream Cloud's ever long warranty, you are gonna wanna check out uh, you know, what is actually covered in that. So you can just check that out on their website. Now in terms of shipping, they both ship free. The difference is that the Safa is kind of a traditional mattress. It doesn't actually compress in a box. Uh, whereas the Dream Cloud is a bend a box hybrid. Now for price, they're pretty similar with the queen size Sattva coming in at $1,099 
and the queen size dream cloud coming in at $1,199. I really like both the Safa and Dreamcloud mattresses. I think they're both really quality beds. There are reasons that I would recommend each of them to different sleepers. Now, the reasons I would recommend the Safa is if you're looking for that traditional inner spring feel, maybe you just like that classic feeling of the steel coil bed, the Safa is definitely gonna provide that to you. I would also recommend the Safa if you're looking for a mattress with a lot of bounce. That coil on coil structure makes it one of the bounciest mattresses I've ever tested. So if you're a combo sleeper, you're gonna be able to change positions really easily on the Safa. Now some of the reasons I'd recommend the Dream Cloud to you is if you are a back or stomach sleeper, again, it is a bit firmer in my opinion, which I generally think of as a good thing, especially for stomach sleepers who need to keep their hips from sinking into the mattress, keep their spine line in a good position. I would also recommend the Dream Cloud to you if you're looking for a bend a box with a stronger support feel. Uh, in terms of the bend a box market, I think the Dream Cloud has some of the uh, firmest support that I've tested. I know those are some really general recommendations. So if you are looking for a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep references, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, please subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel as we're gonna keep putting out more content that's gonna help you get a better night's sleep. And if you haven't already, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss any of our new reviews, our news and industry information, or any of our giveaway announcements. So that's it for the comparison today. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day.